welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing some Hey Arnold nails. So in my last video, I told you guys to comment what set you would like to see me paint next or what kind of video and I would be choosing one person. And I chose, drum roll. Actually, there were two of you guys um, that really stood out to me because I love this show growing up. First was Melissa. She said, this is absolutely freaking gorgeous. My daughter is being Sally for Halloween. I think you should do Hey Arnold for your nails. Hey, football head. Okay, your wish is my command, Melissa. And then we got Andrea, four YouTube videos during the course of eight days. We are lucky. You should do a Hey Arnold nail set to showcase the upcoming complexion collection. And I did. So stay tuned. So let me know what you guys would like to see in my next video. And I will be picking one of the comments below and responding to it with a video. By the way, look at my earrings. Oh my gosh, it's Hey Arnold's Locket. Now the moment we've all been waiting for. I'm gonna be picking one person to send this full complexion collection to. And the lucky winner is Yessi S. Congratulations, I'll be sending you the full collection. Yessi says, Dev. I cannot wait for this to launch. Since you had to twist our arms to pick only one, I have to say, Mocha Magic is so beautiful. Although I love them all. So congratulations, girl. I'll be responding to you in the comments of that video. Please send me your information. I'll get that shipped out to you. Let's get on into painting these Hey Arnold nails. I'm gonna be using three shades from the Complexion Collection for the skin tones of my characters. I chose Bear It All, Baby Doll, and Mocha Magic. I'm taking my whiteout gel polish and I'm just getting one layer of white as the base first. This helps me see my sketch really well and also I'm using my black shading gel to get the initial outline of the characters. I love using the shading gel for my outlines because it's not so dark. If you need to erase, it's much easier than erasing the super pigmented black gel liner. I also think of it as a pencil because it is a pencil like shade color which is good for getting a quick sketch outline. By the way, the brush I'm using is also for my website. It's the nine millimeter liner brush. So now I'm just gonna continue getting the initial outline of Hey Arnold. Follow along if you would like to. Make sure you tag me in your recreations. If you do try these nail art, I would love to see all you guys recreations on Instagram, TikTok, wherever. Stick around to the end of the video, you guys, because I'll be doing another small giveaway and I'll be announcing that towards the end of this video. I don't know about y'all, but I feel like cartoons are not made like they used to be. Or maybe we just don't care about cartoons, but I swear, cartoons back then were so much better, especially this show. I used to love Hey Arnold. So earlier in the video, you saw me actually lay out four colors on the color palette. Um, I was going to do the little bully guy with the one tooth from the show. I don't know if you guys know this show, then you know who I'm talking about. I forget his name. He was the bully. I always hated him. I planned on doing him on the pinky, but realizing how long it took me to do these on live because I did this live on TikTok and then thinking about how long it was going to take me to edit four characters into a video. I was like, you know what? No, let's just do something cool and different on the pinkies and the thumbs. So I'm mixing some white gel polish into that color bear it all. Um, it ended up being the perfect skin tone for him. At first I was like, ah, oh, this looks a little dark, and then we matted it, and it was the perfect color for his skin tone. I'm taking my All That liner gel, and it was the perfect color for his hair. Remember when you're working with liner gel to do your layers thin, or you will have wrinkling. Now, I'm also using my Zombe gel polish, and I mixed some white into that. It created the perfect color for his shirt. And now, I'm just taking Trick or Treat Orange, and it was the perfect color for his little kilt thing. I think that's what it's called, a kilt, right? And I'm using my Blue Daba D. Blue Daba D Daba Da liner gel for his little legs. And I'm going in with some yellow all that gel polish to get these little stripes on his outfit. Maybe that's his shirt underneath his shirt. I don't know if it's a kilt. I don't know what it is, but it looks like a kilt. So we're gonna call it a kilt, okay? For the background, I used one of my favorite colors for my gel polishes, which is called Trollin. It's like a really, really bright neon yellowy green. It's my favorite freaking color, I swear to God. I always like to use it over white because it really makes it pop even more. Now you guys are gonna just see me filling in and going over the outline with the baddest black liner gel. I forgot to show that, but I'll show it later. If you guys haven't tried this gel polish, what the f are you doing? Like seriously, I mean, 
if you are looking for a black liner gel that is literally the blackest of the black you can find this is the one i'm not just saying i promise i'm not just saying this because it's mine it is so black the problem is you need a good light you need a good lamp if you have a strong lamp it's gonna cure this fast if not you're gonna be sitting there forever because this shit is pigmented when i tell you pigmented honey you will never ever need another black liner gel in your life so under a good normal gel polish lamp it should cure in 60 seconds full time when you're done but as i go i just kind of flash cure it in between each one of these layer colors just like all the other gel colors i only flash cure in between for like 20 to 30 seconds here he is he's coming together looking so cute i'm gonna take that shading gel make sure i got everything laid down where i want it to before going in and filling in his mouth after i fill in his mouth with white i'm curing it and then i'm just gonna go in and taking that baddest black liner gel we're just gonna get the outline of his mouth his teeth and his nose now we're gonna go ahead and fill in two little circles for his eyes don't do them too small and don't do them too big or he's gonna look crazy proportions matter when you're doing eyes and when you're doing pupils i promise now this is where that shading gel comes in it doubles as a shading gel not just a sketch gel is why it's called shading gel but i realized that i could use it for bolts so why the hell not now i'm going to just be adding little different areas of shading under his hat his arms under his nose here inside of his mouth and really anywhere that makes sense the picture did not have shading but of course i have to add shading and make everything next level now i'm taking my matte top coat this is my favorite matte top coat it will not smear your black lines it's super matte and beautiful look at him he's amazing now we're moving on to the bestie we're gonna be painting gerald the shapes on his face let me just tell you we're super complicated this might be a struggle for you guys but do not give up i promise practice makes perfect and if there's any advice that i can give you guys just starting out or just artists that are trying to get to the skill level of art my biggest tip is just to practice there's no secret in this industry of how you're going to get better it's just consistency and being passionate about what you do and taking the time to practice if that means that you have to do something five times before you get it right 10 times 20 times before you get it right just do it because every single time that you practice something it's going to increase your skill is going to increase and you're just going to keep getting better you should see some of the art i used to do i mean it took me seven years to get this level of skill you know actually you know what i'm gonna slap something up on the screen real quick look at this now by no means am i saying this is terrible but this is one of my first nail arts i've ever painted it was the grinch seven years ago so i'm telling you practice makes perfect now for gerald's skin tone we're using the color cocoa puff from my new collection i think it was the perfect shade for him i love this color it's so rich and beautiful i'm just gonna go ahead and fill in his hands his face his neck and then i don't think i remember to record this part but i used hello sydney to color in his shirt and then i used genie in a bottle liner gel blue to do his pants next i'm going to be filling in his hair with the color lights out which is my black gel polish it is super pigmented super black and it moves faster across the nail than liner gel would for this part i just took my white liner gel and just wrote the number 33 on his outfit like in the show and now i'm just going around him before i do the outline with the color trolling i like to do the background color before i do the outline because the background color could potentially run into your black lines and make it look less crisp so we don't want that to happen here's the black liner gel we're gonna go ahead and just get the outline of everything instead of him now By the way, you guys, in this video, sometimes I am also using the Hella Cute liner brush. That is my second favorite liner brush. And for certain parts, I also used my micro detailing brush as well. I used the blue Daba D liner gel to get the little outline around his hair. And now you'll see me working with that micro detailer brush to outline the numbers on his outfit. This was super tedious, so it was really hard to record the whole thing. 
Now we're gonna add his two little pupils to bring him to life. And just when you thought we were done, no bitch, we're gonna add some shading. I am so obsessed with shading. It just really makes them next level. I, I mean, look at it. It just, a little bit of shading can just bring them to the next level in your nail art and make them look a little bit more 3D. My favorite part is always wiping the mat with the alcohol to reveal the final look. And look at how cute he is. And now we're going to paint that bitch Helga. She is such a bitch. I used to love watching the show just because I love to see what she was going to do next to try to stalk Arnold or drive him nuts. She was such a brat. Oh my gosh. And even going back and watching the show, I never realized even just like literally how much of a bitch she was. She was the most complicated of them all. Um, her facial features were really hard to get in all the right places. So if you guys need to pause, do whatever, take your time on her. She is the most challenging of all the three characters. Here, you'll see me cleaning up a mistake. Yes, honey, I make mistakes with the little baby blender brush. This brush is not only good for erasing mistakes, but obviously for doing what it's called, blending small areas, which you'll see in a little bit. I'm taking baby doll for her skin tone and I'm using my sunshine for her hair color. For her outfit, I'm using the gel color I'm Sprung, and I'm also adding that up here on her bow as well. Now for the shading of the bow, I cured this pink, then I went in with my Spice Girl liner gel, laid it down, left it wet, and then I took my baby blender brush dry and just did some little padding and stroking and did a little gradient on her bow to give it a cute little effect. She was so much fun to paint. The part I loved the most was doing the unibrow. I don't know, something about doing that nice thick unibrow was so much fun. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Now, you know a brush has good control when you can get a perfect circle. Circles are not easy. I'm doing her eyes, adding her pupils, and then before doing the initial full outline around her body, I'm just going in with that same Trollin gel color to get the background of her. After bolding it all out, I forgot. I was like, oh, she's got stripes on her dress. So I added Spice Girl Pink and Trick or Treat Orange to give the dress some color. And now we're gonna add some shading. I did some shading on her, under her hair, under her nose. I also did some under her arm area, under her sleeve right here, and on her bow. And to finish her off, I just did a tiny little bit under her mouth as well. And here's her finished look. She's looking bitchin', love it. On the thumbs, I wanted to give it that iconic Nickelodeon slime vibe, so I did a reverse slime. I did the slime in orange over the green to tie in all the rest of the nails, and here's the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. These came out so cute. They're so bright and so much fun. If you guys want to ever check out all the products I use in this video, you can shop on my website, which is nailsbydev.com. I will drop everything that I use in this video in the description below. I really hope you guys will try this nail art. Please try and do not give up. Hey guys, I hope you liked this video. So I'm gonna be doing another giveaway. I'm gonna be sending one of you guys who comments what you'd like to see in my next video that I paint on my nails. In the comments below, I'm gonna be sending you three of my favorite brushes from my website. I'm gonna drop my site right here. You guys can shop. Don't forget to use my code YouTube to save you 10% anytime you guys shop on my site. As always, if you guys liked this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop me a comment letting me know what you'd like to see on the next video, and I will see you guys in another video soon. Bye, guys!